GM streaks. So, my car just does that whenever it's below 40 degrees. I don't know why. But anyways, back to what I was about to say. So today is um, December 23rd, two days before Christmas, which is hype, but it does not feel like it's only two days before Christmas. It feels like, it honestly doesn't really feel like Christmas time. I don't know why, I just I just haven't felt super Christmassy this year. Like, I don't know, like it was cause like, Thanksgiving happened and then December started, but then like I was like cramming, like busy studying for finals and getting ready for all of that. Like it just never really like hit like, hey, it's Christmas time. And like my last final was on Wednesday. So like, I don't know, it's just a very quick transition. And like, I feel like I haven't had time to adjust and really like think like, oh wow, Christmas is in literally two days, which is, I mean, which is hype. I love Christmas, but it's just like, hasn't really hit me yet. But because it hasn't really hit me yet, I haven't bought any Christmas gifts yet for my family. And we are going to be visiting our extended family. So I'm talking about my immediate family here. We are gonna be visiting our extended family in New York City on the 25th, but we're leaving on the 24th, which is tomorrow. But before we leave tomorrow, we are going to be opening presents, just our family, like our immediate family at home, the four of us. Um, but I don't have presents for any of them. So that's kind of what today is all about. I'm just gonna be going out and getting them presents, each of them. Uh, I have like a general idea of what I want to get each person, but it's subject to change. So we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, so right now I am on my way to get gas because I need gas. And paying for gas, let me tell you, is one of the most painful things because let me just begin by saying, I don't like spending my money on things that don't last. So like, I don't really like spending my money on like food or like stuff like that. Like if I'm gonna spend my money, I like spending it on like clothes or like tangible items that like, again, like will last me because I don't know, broke college kids. So like, I don't like my things just being gone in like a day or whatever. But gas is one of those things that like, yeah, it lasts a little longer than food. Still, gas is very very expensive and it does not last and you have to constantly be filling up your car like when I was younger I honestly was like oh I want to get my dream car like I want this car this car this car but as I've gotten older like I've kind of realized that I really just want whichever car has the best gas mileage because gas is so freaking expensive it's ridiculous like screw my dream car like I don't care gas is very expensive and I just need to get whatever car will save me on that the most basically Anyways, that's besides the point. The point is I don't like spending money on gas. I think most people don't like spending money on gas slash like spending money period. But like gas is one of those things that just, it's painful too, because especially like you're standing there and you're just watching it tick up like, and then it ends up stopping at like $35. And that's a lot of money for a college kid. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I don't know, whatever. It, it's just, a, it's my little, that's my little tangent for the day. But paying for gas is painful and that's what I'm on my way to do. But I mean, I need it. Otherwise I'm not gonna be able to get to any of the stores that I'm trying to get to today. So yeah, excuse me while I just try to merge here. There we go. These big tractor trailers, my car is so tiny that these big tractor trailers always like freak me out, but we're, we're learning to deal with them. Um, but yeah, so I'm on my way to get gas right now. Um, oh my goodness, the gas station in my town, it's like, it's Sheets. I don't know if you guys have Sheets near you or whatever if you're watching this, but um, Sheets is like the big gas station around here. And like in high school, all the kids from my high school used to hang out there. Like it was like the place. Like if you went to Sheets, like you were guaranteed, like no matter what time of day it was, to run into someone from my high school. And like I was, I was one of those people that would hang out there sometimes too with my friends. Not as frequently as others did, but like I would go there every now and then. But like I don't know now. Like even now that I'm in college, though, I've noticed like I still run into people like who are either still in high school that I like know or like people who I went to high school with who like go back there I guess when they're home on break and like I don't know I just don't like going to sheets because I don't like running into people from high school like I don't really have bad blood with anyone from high school or like any beef or like drama it's just you know what I'm saying it's like one of those things you just don't really care to run into people if that makes sense like you just kind of want to not have to say hi to anyone that's really bad and makes you sound like I'm super duper antisocial but like you know I think you guys understand where I'm coming from on this like Sometimes I just don't really want to bump into someone who I haven't spoken to in two years, like, or seen in two years, or, like, who I kind of remember, but, like, not really. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe this is just a me thing, but, like, I feel like a lot of people can relate to this. But, yeah, so, anyways, I'm on my way to Sheets right now. I'll catch up with you guys later. Uh, see you in a bit.
that concludes our time at the gas stations. Um, now it's time to head on out to our next destination. Um, quick little story there. I went to, initially I went to this one, to one of the pumps and like I like put my card in and everything, like accepted fine or whatever. And like it said like begin filling. So like I picked up the nozzle and then I realized that the nozzle wasn't like, like the, I don't know the terminology, but like the tube part, I guess it is like, wasn't actually attached to the um, to the thing that dispenses the gas. So like, tube was like laying on the ground. Like I realized when I picked it up. And then like, the like little thing that's attached to like the actual I don't know what any of this stuff's called, but like it was just like spraying like droplets of like gasoline on the ground. And I was like, this is wrong. Um, so I put the nozzle back in, and then it said sale canceled. Thankfully, because I was like, it better not charge me for this, because like it didn't even like work. Obviously, so that was good. Um, grateful for that. But then I, so then I went to the next nozzle and it was all good. And now we got a full tank and, um, gas is a little cheaper than it was the last time I got gas, which is nice, but it still was money that I had to spend. But it's okay, because now I can go do other things with this gas. And this car actually does have decent mileage. Um, I'll be fine, so. But I also realized that, like, I kind of forgot how early it was. Like, look at my clock right now, it's 10.18. So really, I didn't need to fear running into kids from high school at the gas station because, um, yeah, most kids from high school are probably still in bed or kids who are home on break from college are still in bed. I don't know why my body's, like, naturally trained to, like, wake up early because I had so many, like, early, not even early classes. I just woke up early a lot this last semester because I had stuff to do or, like, work or whatever. But, like, I don't know. My body's just trained to wake up early. It was like that in high school, too. Some days I can really sleep in, but... I don't know. Lately, since I've been home on break, I've been waking up at like 9, 9.30, like around there. It's 10, 20. I honestly had no reason to be paranoid about running into kids from high school. Even if there were kids from high school there, I shouldn't have been paranoid about running into them. I mean, I just realized, I was like, it's actually really early. I feel like this is like a common trend with me. Like, I just made it to the mall. Um, it's really empty. I mean, it's like 9.30 a.m. right now. I mean, I like getting out early and doing things early in the day. So, um, I just found out why the mall parking lot was so empty. Uh, the mall doesn't open until 10 and it's 9.30 currently right now. So I have an awkward half hour to kill. Like I wake up early and I feel like everyone else is gonna be up early and then I realize like, oh no, I woke up a lot earlier than everyone else. It'd be like that. Anyways, so right now I am on my way. I think I'm gonna head to Target first. So I'm on my way to Target. My dad said that he needed like a, a kitchen scale cause he likes to bake a lot. Um, so. I'm gonna get him that for Christmas. Shouldn't be too expensive, I don't think. And I mean, even if it is a little more expensive than I was anticipating, like, yeah, he'll use it a lot, so it'll be worth it. But I don't know if I should just get him that or if I should get him something else. My mom also told me that I need to get my brother a stocking stuffer, even though I'm already getting him another gift. Like, he's 11, I don't know. What stocking stuffer you give an 11 year old? I don't even remember. I can guess though, I think I can find him something like decent-ish. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, go to Target first to see, look for those two things. Yeah, so that's that's our first stop of the day, Target, to hopefully get my daddy's kitchen scale and my brother some stocking stuffers. So, see how that goes. See you guys there. So that officially concludes a successful Target shopping trip. Um, sorry I didn't film or talk a whole lot in there. I didn't really care to film myself, just like walking around Target all alone. Um, but anyways, I actually like got a decent amount of stuff there. I ended up finding some stuff that wasn't really like, like looking for, but as I was shopping, I was like, oh, this would make a good gift. So I got my dad his kitchen scale. Um, you saw in the clip earlier. So that's good, got that for him, something he needed. And then my parents, as I mentioned earlier, wanted me to get a stocking stuffer for my brother. If that one is hard to look for. I tried looking for things, but the, I don't know, things were either expensive or like not stocking stuffery. Um, I'm at a four-way intersection and people always mess these up. There's always someone who just doesn't understand that it's whoever gets there first goes first. So I got my brother um, this like Star Wars watch thing. 
I don't know, it's for kids. It was, in, it was in the boys' clothing section. But we like Star Wars as a family, and, like, he doesn't have a watch. So I thought that'd be, like, a cute... You know, it wasn't that expensive. It was, like, seven bucks, I think. I also went out shopping for Dad, because I was like, I don't want to get him just a, just a baking scale. Because, plus, that was something, like, he, like, told me to get for him. Like, I want to get him something that, like partially that he's like an actual gift like he's not expecting it and my dad really likes prince so i got him a prince cd on sale it was like 13 bucks um along with the scale so that's his gift set and then for my mom i also saw this like sherpa crew neck kind of thing it's blue really soft and like i don't know if she'd wear it out but like i got it because i was like she gets cold a lot when she's at home it's blue it's her favorite color so i don't know i think she'll like it it's really soft and really warm like it's honestly i would wear that crew neck just because of how comfy it, it felt um so i got that for her and now we're gonna get another gift for my mom she really needs new bare minerals mascara so i'm just gonna ulta it's literally like right here i'm already here someone's pulling up and I'm talking to myself so I look like I'm crazy. So, bye. change of plans i got back in my car after going to ulta and then i like saw ross dressed for less literally right next to it i was like i should go in there because another thing my parents told me to get my brother for christmas was a pair of black like jogger sweatpants kind of thing and because he needs more of those so i was like okay i'll go to ross because i know they have like a lot of good stuff i wish i shopped there more because they have such nice things that are so cheap like name brand things at that like I always sleep on Ross. But every time I go there, I find something for me, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I bought some things for myself, even though this was supposed to be Christmas shopping. On the plus side, my Christmas shopping is now done, which is nice. So I needed a new pair of running shoes because I only have two pairs, and my one, like, the bottoms are super duper worn down. And the others, I can't really run in because they're more, like, for style, if that makes sense. Like, I use them to, like, lift, but not actually to run. So I got these. I actually used to have these exact same pair of shoes, but in navy blue. But I got these, like, I don't know, they're, like the lighting's weird in here but like yeah there you can see it these like coral new balance sneakers i really love them but they're good for running because i used to have these and i wore them all summer um this past summer but i had them in blue and they got super duper worn out and from like my job this past summer so then i also need a new pair of joggers and i was shopping for my brother joggers also found some for me i got these really nice um fila joggers they just are like black but then they just say Fila along the side here i don't really care about the brand but i just like them because they're really comfy and they fit well and they're only 15 bucks so that's why i'm saying don't sleep on ross dress for less and these sneakers were only 39 when i bought them originally they were like when i ordered these online like a year ago from like the actual new balance website they were like 80 dollars. so that's what i'm saying don't sleep on ross dress for less don't sleep on them and then for my brother i just got black joggers adidas with the red stripes on the side i thought they were cute so yeah that concludes his christmas shopping and then like i said earlier i got all my stuff for my parents so i am pretty set and i got some stuff that i needed as well so but that is all the money that i will be spending for quite some time but yeah so now it's time to head back home but anyways thank you guys for watching this video for sticking it out the whole length um i just want to wish you guys merry christmas and a happy new year um and just enjoy the time with your loved ones. Thanks for watching this video, like I said. And um, like and subscribe.